More tonight now, an unusual twist in the race for Oneida County Executive unfolding today. Candidate David Gordon defending himself for an arrest that happened more than a year ago before making allegations against multiple elected county officials without any substantiation. Eyewitness News reporter Ben Dennis has more for us. Candidate for the Republican nomination for Oneida County Executive David Gordon admitted he was arrested in August of 2017 following a domestic incident. He shared this information during a press conference that he held Monday morning. I was in fact arrested in 2017 for breaking a cell phone during a very sensitive situation involving my fiance. Gordon said tensions between he and his fiance were because of an undiagnosed pregnancy. Knowing that something wasn't right, I again left my home that evening and stayed in a hotel hoping to stabilize the situation. In my fiance's emotionally charged mindset, she in fact called the police and as such I was then arrested a few days later. After a period of four days, we reconciled our differences and sought a doctor to determine what had caused this emotional outburst. We were then informed that my fiance was in fact six weeks pregnant and concluded that a contributing factor to this one-time occurrence was because of some hormonal changes and obviously my inexperience in how to handle this type of situation. The GOP candidate went on to make unfounded allegations against two Oneida County elected officials. In a statement, Oneida County Executive Anthony Vicente says, quote, Today, Mr. Gordon made unfounded and slanderous allegations that I will not dignify with a response. Vicente would be Gordon's opponent if there is a primary in June. Gordon provided no evidence to substantiate his claims, acknowledging they were nothing more than allegations. In Utica, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.